Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Shutwani from learn-automation.com. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can execute your test on Docker container. So in the previous videos, we have discussed what is Docker, how to install Docker, how we can set up Selenium Grid, Hub and Node. Now everything is set up, everything is up and running. Now the final step is to execute the test on Docker. So let's see what exactly we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will uh, run our basic test on any of the container and we will actually see the containers and we'll see how it is running our test. So we'll try to run our test on two different containers. One will be for Firefox, one will be for Chrome. And once we will uh, complete this sequential execution, we'll try to run two different tests on two different containers and we'll see how these uh, tests are running parallelly in two different containers. So that's what we are going to cover in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so now everything is up and running. We have a Docker, we have a hub, we have a two nodes connected to our hub, which is node Chrome and node Firefox. We also logged into the container and these containers are ready for us. So now the main thing is we need to see how we can run these tests, right? So before I jump into this topic, I would request you to watch my previous video where we discussed about Selenium Grid. Okay, because if you don't understand grid concept, you will not understand this part. So let me create a fresh package here called docker demo and let me create few tests. This test I will run on a docker container. So let's create a class called FF demo, which is nothing but Firefox demo. And I will create a method public void test app and I will give test annotation of testng because we are going to use testng for this particular example. Now we have to create a desired capability object because we have to run test on a platform right. So I will accept uh, I will set a browser here and this time I will say I need browser type dot firefox this is what i said that i need to run this on firefox and now i will simply start so i will say web driver driver equal to new remote web driver so we use remote web driver whenever we have to run the test on a selenium grid so it will ask you the capability capability we already created right just now cap and for the remote address, we have to use new URL. And since our hub is already running here, I have to use this. We don't have to use grid console, so we'll give wd slash hub. It means web driver hub. So whenever we run any test, it will definitely trigger all the tests or it will bypass or it will simply forward all the requests to this particular hub and now it is hub responsibility that it should pass our request to the respective node. So let's say I just want to open any application www.google.com element by name so we have a search query right that is actually q so i will just type something learn automation and i will say driver dot quit and i will do the quit after long time because i want to see the executions i will put a uh, five seconds of wait so that i can see the execution Okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, let's first check for Firefox, which one we have? It is 32769. So 32769, you can easily identify this one, right? It means when we run the test, the test should run on this container. And good news about this container is these are containers are intractable. It means you can use these uh, containers for the real interaction as well. 
okay so just notice one more thing as soon as i run the test as of now can you see this is free this is also free the moment i run the test it make a request to the hub and it should occupy this okay can you see the within the container it is opening google.com learn automation and after 5 seconds it will quit now let me do a small change let me change this to a chrome so this time it should run on 32768 because 32768 is for chrome 32769 for firefox now let me run this so this is actually selenium hub responsibility that based on your request it should take up the available one and you can see in this particular container the test execution is started and it is running awesome right these are the two containers which is already running if you have multiple containers the test will start on these containers now what if I need to run these two tests parallelly no problem at all you can use selenium sorry test ng to run the test parallelly so what we will do we will make a copy of it and this time I will say it's a chrome demo and for chrome demo I will check whether it is changed to chrome or not yes it is changed so i need to run these two tests right so what i will do i will create a testng.xml file and i will say that we want to run testng docker so this testng docker will simply run these two classes so what i will do i will make here p a r a w l e l equal to classes okay so better we can keep it here because let's keep it test thread count equal to 2 it means i'm going to run two threads parallelly and this parallel should go in a test suite mode it means this is one test suite this is another test suite here I want to run chrome and here I need to run firefox so whenever you say parallel equal to test it means it is talking about two different test suite thread count 2 equal to means we need to run to test parallelly now just observe the behavior that these two containers will have the test parallelly so just right click on this xml file and see the magic okay something goes wrong it says line number 3 column number 51 okay maybe I have to give in double quotes let's run it again it says two test suite cannot have the same name okay perfectly fine because here also i was giving test here it was test again so let me change it to different test suite and now run it again okay this is one can these two containers and you can see the parallel execution Firefox is a little slow but as you can see the execution is happen happening parallelly to both the containers and after 5 seconds the execution is getting stopped so this is the power of containers this is a part of selenium grid where you just need to forward the request to the hub and hub will decide where to run my test so if you run your test on a hub and if hub having any other node freely it will simply redirect
okay thank you guys for watching this video so if you like this video please share with your friend and subscribe to this channel and if you have any query or doubt feel free to mail me so this is my email mukesh at one year that learn hyphen automation.com and guys please uh, share this channel with everybody who is into automation those who are looking uh, for some new content and some great stuff i will be uploading many topics on test automation and once you're done with automation i will also start uploading on the devops and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye